Hello everyone, I'm Hadi from Colorado State University. And today I'm very glad to share with you my research on impacts of climate change on hydroclimatic conditions of US national forests and grasslands. The United States includes about 175 national forests and national grasslands that provide a wide range of services such as hydrological, ecological, social, economic, recreational services, which are divided into eight regions uh, in the continuous United States estate managed by US Forest Service. Climate change can lead to shifts in long-term hydroclimatic conditions of these national forests and grasslands and lead to negative consequences such as uh, deforestation. So the objective of this study are to assess shifts in long-term hydroclimatic conditions and basic characteristics of uh, national forests and national grasslands using the Budico space and evaluate comparative responses of eight US Forest Service regions uh, within the continu uh, continuous United States to, uh, in response to climate change to determine hotspot national forests and grasslands. For projecting changes in climate variables, the macroclimate data sets have been used. The macroclimate data includes 20 models, which are downscale for the United States at the grid size of four kilometers. As you see, future macroclimate models can be categorized in terms of changes in precipitation and temperature from current to future conditions. In this study, we have selected three climate models, dry, wet, and the middle of these ranges. And current means uh, 1985 to uh, 2050, and future means 2070 uh, to 2099. The second step is to project change in hydrological components. The big model was implemented in this study to evaluate the hydrologic response of five climate models, which is a macro scale semi distributed, distributed hydrological model, and use the variable infiltration capacity curves to solve full water and energy balance. We obtained the weak model parameters from uh, Obedullah uh, 2014 that has been improved by Nas et al. Uh, 2016. To calibrate the weak model, the simulated monthly total stream flow for each HUC8 basin was matched uh, with the monthly runoff from the USGS Water Watch runoff dataset. Okay. Now we have the projected climate and hydrological parameters for entire the United States over the 21st century. We characterize shifts in hydroclimatic conditions as shifts in Budico space. Budico space, as it's uh, shown, describes the relationship between the evaporative index and aerated index. It's called Budico because he was the person who has found an empirical relationship between aridity index and evaporative index. The evaporative index can be defined as uh, precipitation minus a senior flow divided by precipitation or actual evaporation divided by precipitation and aridity index can also defined as potential evapotranspiration divided by precipitation. Shifts in Budico space can be identified by a direction and magnitude as a simple way. Shifts to the right mean that the basin is getting warmer and drier and shifts to the up mean that a basin will experience less runoff. To estimate changes in basin characteristics, we also use the Fuse equation that describes the relationships of aridity and evaporative indices in the Budico environment. In Fuse um, equation, omega is a free parameter that has no physical meaning. The omega 
uh, can represent an integrative property or, uh, property of the basin that ranges between 1.5 to 4.6 uh, with a median value at uh, 1.8. Previous studies reported that differences in omega are highly correlated with differences in land cover and vegetation cover. So this, in this study, shifts in omega of natural forest and grassland and uh, from current to future conditions was used to represent changes in integrative properties uh, uh, in response to climate change. Okay, so let's see the results. Changes in hydroclimatic conditions of national forests and national grasslands were assessed by characterizing the direction and magnitude of shifts in the Budiko space. The right figure shows uh, changes in the average aridity and evaporating indices of uh, national forest and national grassland uh, within the eight US Forest Service regions. The left figure also shows changes that are depicted in the right figures in the Budiko space. The hydroclimatology of the uh, northern intermountain Pacific Southwest and uh, Pacific Northwest regions show the most uh, consistency across the three climate scenarios. The Pacific Southwest region is projected uh, specifically under wet and dry scenario. To move to the lower left, meaning less uh, arid conditions uh, and higher fresh water availability. The northern, intermountain, and Pacific Northwest regions are projected to experience less arid conditions but with lower fresh water availability. Long-term changes in the hydroclimatology of the Rocky Mountain, southwestern, southern, and eastern regions vary in aridity index across the three uh, models with aridity consistently decreasing under the wet scenario and increasing under the dry uh, climate model as we expect and with variable results under the middle climate model. Under all three climate models, the southwestern region has a high magnitude of change meaning that its uh, hydroclimatic condition have, has high sensitivity to future climate change. While the southwestern region is getting warmer and drier with a high magnitude of change under the dry and middle climate model, it's more likely to experience weather and less arid hydroclimatic conditions with high magnitude under the wet climate model. As we already mentioned, change in integrative properties of basins in response to hydroclimatic shifts can be represented by changes in omega of a fused equation. Table, uh, table uh, in this slide provides a current and future omega of fused equation for eight US Forest Service regions under the wet, mid, middle, and dry climate models. Mm, the omega for eight regions is nearly always increasing under all uh, climate models. Uh, the main exception uh, being the decrease in omega of the southwestern region under the dry climate model. The omega in the eastern, southern, Pacific Northwest and Pacific Southwest regions change is only slightly indicating that these regions are more likely to experience only minor shifts in the basin characteristics. However, the southwestern, northern, intermountain, and Rocky Mountain regions are more likely to experience higher shifts in their uh, photographic and ecological characteristics. Uh, closing remarks. The focus of this study was to assess the impacts of climate change on uh, hydroclimatic conditions of US national forests and grasslands. The response of basins to climate change varies from a national forest to national grasslands and from one climate model to another. However, there uh, was some significant consistency in the regional long-term hydroclimatic changes of uh, national uh, forest and grasslands. Under all three climate models, national forests are likely to experience larger, uh, larger changes in the basin characteristics than our national grasslands. 
The hydroclimatology of the southwestern uh, forest service region is found to have the highest sensitivity to uh, future climate change across the continuous United States, with specifically high aridity under the dry climate model. So these findings highlight the need to incorporate climate change impacts into forest and grassland resource management and planning in the future. Thank you so much. Uh, I will be happy to have your uh, comments and um, have a good day.